Hello everybody, Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, June 21st, and I wanted to get this video up um, yet yeah, before the end of the month to kind of wrap up my thoughts on this round of Bring Back My Bar. Um, I have warmed all but six bars. Um, I have not warmed six of the 25, but I guess I'll kind of go over them first, maybe just kind of give you thoughts on why I haven't warmed them yet. And again, my um, review or approval or this like mindset about them. Um, I'm not going to go through all the scent notes for everything, but I did as I was warming things, kind of make a little list of thoughts and stuff. So the ones I haven't worn, have not warmed yet. Um, first one's Buckleberry. I do like this on cold. I'm just not in the mood like to warm this right now. It screams fall to me. It's very nice like spiced fall um, berry scent. So I will get to this just probably not before the end of the month. So um, neither here nor there. Um, the next one is Love and Happiness. I have warmed a tester of this before, so I kind of already know what this scent is. It's pretty, pretty for a bedroom. It's kind of like a sweet chestnut type um, scent. It's not my favorite scent um, in the world, to be honest. It is pretty. It's just not something I need to like you know, warm right away or stock up on or put it in my club or anything. So um, I'll get to this someday. Just again, not before the end of the month. It's along those same lines, one that I'm not really looking forward to warming because I don't love it on cold is the Very Perry Pumpkin. Just, yeah, don't love this on cold and also not warming a pumpkin set right now because the high today was like, you know, 100 degrees. So <laughs> Not too eager about that one. Another one I have warmed to four in tester form and tried in other products is Pineapple Coconut Vanilla. So I still have my full bar of this. Um, I love this scent. Again, just not something I need to um, experience right now. Warm right now, I already know what this is about. Uh, next one is French Toast. I did intend to get to this one actually. I wanted to warm this alongside of Blueberry Pancakes or like kind of compare the two. I just haven't gotten to it yet. I may still get to this yet before the end of the month to see if I want to pick up any more of them. Um, I do like it on cold. I'm kind of worried about the amount of cinnamon um, that may come out when this is warming, but we'll see. Um, again, I plan to get to this yet before the end of June, before the Bring Back My Bars are done. And then lastly, I have not yet warmed uh, Rip Your Float. I would also like to get to this, um, if not this month, probably in July. Um, not something I want to stock up on or put in my club. It is a fun scent, smells just like root beer, um, but again, just haven't gotten to it. I think I kind of know what to expect. It's pretty straightforward root beer float scent. So those are ones I have not touched. Um, the rest of them I have all warmed, at least two cubes of um, some bars they actually finished. So I will, I guess, start right here. No particular order. Um, the first one I picked up is blueberry pancakes. I did warm two cubes of this um, on kind of a we, had, we haven't had a whole lot of rain um, this month in June, but there was a couple uh, kind of dreary mornings, I, so I decided to warm this one. And it was okay. It's strong. Um, let's see what I wrote down, wrote down here. I wrote down buttery. I definitely pick up the butter note in this. Buttery, strong, good for open layout. So I, I would agree. Nice for a kitchen. Um, is it something club worthy for me? No. Do I need to pick up more of it? Probably not. I like other um, blueberry scents better from other vendors and so forth, but it was good. Um, again, the butter really came out for me. Not so much maple, um, but I did get like a buttery bakery and like a sweet tart blueberry. So it's nice. Um, just not something I need more of. Next one I finished up um, was Zeppelin. This one was like I forget all the notes. It's like vetiver and I don't even remember for sure. Um, but I did finish this up. I warmed it both in our entryway and our man cave. I wrote down generic cologne type scent. Pleasant but forgettable. And that's kind of how I feel about a lot of cologne type scents. It smells nice. Do I need to stuck up on this or anything? Nope. Um, not a repurchase for me. I'm glad to have experienced it because I like trying things, new things. But Again, just kind of forgettable, run of the mill cologne type scents. So that's gone. Next one is Bamboo Yuzu. I also finished up this one. I was really excited for this one. It's one of the first ones I did warm. I wrote down uh, very fresh citrus and green. And it is, it's kind of just a generic 
nice gentle bamboo type scent with a bright citrus from that yuzu. I warmed it in our bathroom um, and also our entryway area and it was nice. Um, I did not end up putting this one in my club. I won't put it in my club. I did pick up one more bar for, of it. Um, but again, it just kind of a generic green type scent. It's okay. So that's done. Next one is Inner Peace. I warmed through that whole bar. Um, Inner Peace, I wrote down heavy on the cleaner lemon vibes, um, citronella type spelling. And it is. I really wanted more of that cypress to come through that's in here. And it just didn't for me. I got major like cleaner lemon. And if you like those type of scents, um, you know, then that's great. Um, I like my lemon to be a little bit more bright, a little more like food almost type smelling, not so much cleaner smelling. I did pick up one more because um, I think I, I mean, I, I did enjoy the scent. It's just not something that's club worthy for me. Um, but if you do like those cleaner type lemon scents, I would definitely give Inner Peace a try. Uh, next one is Berry of Paradise. I was also very excited for this one. I warmed three cubes. Um, I warmed it here in my office and then also my daughter's room. I had warmed this before, so I knew what it, what to expect. And I did put this in my club um, momentarily. I'm not sure if I even wrote anything down about this. I don't see it. I did put it in my club. I'm not sure how long it'll stay there because I do love other strawberry scents more. And I can get other strawberry, like authentic or even like mixed um, strawberry scents too from other vendors so it's nice I do like it um, it's not a super strong scent but it was pretty long lasting up here um, we live in an older home you know I'm not huge bedroom so it was um, it was nice it's pleasant it's fun it's kind of girly and juvenile so I do like Berry Paradise and this one is going to my club um, at least for maybe a few rounds to get a few more bars of um, let's see here the next one is Blonde Wood and Moonflower Warmed four cubes of this in our bedroom, and this is really pretty. Um, I knew kind of what to expect, just very kind of vanilla sandalwoody, really pretty for a bedroom. Gentle, not super strong, I would say like a medium performer, but it was very long lasting. Um, I did pick up one more of this to have in my stash. I will enjoy it, not club worthy for me, um, but I'm glad to have tried it, like something new. But again, kind of I'm trying not to sound so repetitive, but I can get like vanilla, uh, sandalwood type scents from other vendors too that I like um, so I don't need to put it in my club if I can get you know get it elsewhere anytime I want to so pretty again pretty bedroom but not anything I need more of well I did pick up one more but that'll be it <laughs> um, next one is Enchanted Mist I was really excited for this one I warmed four cubes um, I warmed it in our bathroom and also here in my office I warmed it two times in our bathroom, just one cube each in a mini warmer, and then I warmed two cubes up here in my office. Um, the, I guess the first thing I'll say about this one is not to put it in too big of a room because you're gonna be very disappointed. It's a very light performer. Um, I did enjoy it when I was warming, it smells great. I think I wrote down clean, calm, clean, um, fresh apple scent, but so light. That was my notes on this. It is very light. It's very pleasant when it's going, like a very light background scent. Um, it's kind of like you would walk in the room, it's like, oh, you know, what is that? It smells good, but like, what is that? Can I, is that, was that my, am I really smelling something? Um, but it, it's pretty, I just wish it was stronger. Um, I don't know. I'm not putting it in my club for that reason, just because it's it was so light. I do have two more bars um, that I picked up. It was a part of that um, bring back my bar bundle deal so I did pick up a couple more to enjoy because I don't want to like get down the road in six months and maybe after this sits for a while it, the oils will kind of cure and get stronger so like I don't want to kick myself it's like oh I didn't pick up any more um, so I do have two more in my stash that I will enjoy uh, down the road so that was that one next one is love you very much I warmed three cubes of this and I wrote down for this one um so good and fruity um, definitely fall fruits, comma, cranberry, dot, 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 a dark horse. And that's kind of how I feel. Like I wasn't really in th like thrilled about this on cold, but when it was warming, it was super, super pleasant. I really liked this one. I did pick up more of this. I don't think it's going to go in my club. I'm still kind of toying with that idea, um, but it was really nice. Nice on its own, a great mixer. I did mix it. I'll pick up this next one here. I did mix one cube to one cube with the uh, blackberry orange marmalade, and that was really nice. So like this on its own, like it mixed, maybe going to my club. We shall see. 
Um, so then again, blackberry orange marmalade, I wrote down very tart and juicy um, on warm. I wish the throw was stronger, but it's fun for summer and um, for a uh, blackberry scent, I really enjoyed it. Back to kind of the same, it's very jammy, very sweet, but back to kind of what I was saying about like the blonde wood moonflower. Um, there's other blackberry scents that I like from other vendors that are stronger, more tart, more fruity. Like I don't need to have any more of this, but it was really nice when it was warming. Fun for summer, again, like I said, it was good. Um, I don't know, it is what it is. I don't think I picked up any more of this one. Maybe one more bar, I'd have to double check my pile. I left that downstairs, but um, it was good. It's fun, fun, fruity time for summer. Next one is Summer Rain. I did finish this up, used up the whole bar. I kind of warmed this throughout our house. Um, bathrooms, open concept, entryway, mudroom area, and it's, it's pleasant. Um, I had compared this to Thunderstorm. I prefer Thunderstorm still. Um, Thunderstorm is stronger in my opinion. That's like the masculine version and this is like a feminine version of the same type of scent. Um, I do like the saltiness in this and it's just very, I guess very nice and fresh. I wrote down kind of a light to medium performer. I wish it was stronger, but Thunderstorm is. Um, but I wrote down lush and salty and it is, it's pretty. Nice fresh scent so I would definitely recommend giving this a try um, again I would do wish it was stronger but I can get that from thunderstorm which I have a stockpile of so I won't be picking up or adding this to my club um, I don't believe if I do add this to my club it'll only get only be for maybe like one or two rounds to get a couple more bars of but um, it was pleasant it was nice if you like fresh scents next one give me a second we'll make these over here uh, cutie pie cupcake also in the comparison realm, I use four cubes of this. Um, I compared this to Clementine Cupcake, which is a new release in our spring and summer catalog. And I still like Clementine Cupcake more. It's I like it because it's more bakery. This is more um, citrus forward. I wrote down lemon and bakery, kind of a one day type scent. I prefer Clementine Cupcake and that's about it. Um, yeah, Clementine Cupcake will be going in my club if it does retire at the end of next month, which we will find out soon. Um, if it doesn't retire, then awesome. I'm going to keep buying it because I love it. I did pick up um, two more bars of this so I can keep enjoying them because it is an awesome scent. Um, again, I just prefer the Clementine Cupcake because it's more heavy and the like buttery bakery goodness. Next one is uh, Caramel Vanilla Delight. Super, super good. I wrote down, smells good enough to eat. And that's just exactly what it, what it is. I only warmed two cubes. But I, this is going to my club because I just love love it um, that much. Not a super strong performer, but definitely noticeable. Um, and I think this too would be just a really good mixer for um, other type scents. So love Caramel Vanilla Delight is going in my club. Another one that's going in my club was Lemon and Coconut Chiffon. This was like my number one pick um, when I first smelled them all on cold. They only warmed two cubes, but I when I warmed them, it was just heaven. The toastiness definitely comes through for me. Um, the notes on this are like lemon curd or lemon custard, uh, toasted coconut, and something else. And I definitely get a toastiness, not necessarily coconut, but a toastiness. I wrote down um, strong lemon curd, decent performer, toastiness comes through. Um, so yeah, I loved it. It was really good. Everything I hoped it would be, and it is in my club. Next one I was pleasantly surprised by, and it's Flower Child. Warmed four cubes of this. Um, surprised that I liked the scent as much as I did. Not as impressed on performance. It was super, super light. I'm hoping um, as this sits, it gets a little stronger. I did pick up one more for that purpose, um, but it is just a really beautiful scent. Like red berries, um, jasmine, and something else. Another perf kind of perfumey, powdery floral. But it was really nice. I warmed it in my daughter's room and also my office. Um, and again, I really was impressed that I liked it as much as I did. I did pick up one more. I wrote down pretty but light. And that's, that's what it is. It's pretty and it's light. Not something I need to put in my club, but it is enjoyable. Uh, next one is Cotton Candy Cookie. I used four cubes of this one too. And I wrote down 
not super strong, but long lasting. It lasted, it lasts like a, um, two or three days for sure. And I wrote down so much yum and it just smells awesome. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, it is just like, I get the, I get the raspberry, I get the sweetness from the cotton candy and I get the browned cookie. Like it's delicious. It smells awesome. I am putting this in my club. I'm not for sure as to how long, but I do really, really like this one. I'm surprised by how much I liked that. So on warm, I mean, and again, it wasn't super strong, like blow you out of the room, but it lasted forever. It just kept going. So I, these warmers too, I usually live on 24 hours a day. So good luck, good long lasting scent. The next one, I guess I have not warmed yet either. Um, I think that's the last one I haven't warmed. So I, there was actually seven. Um, it's the My Only Sunshine. This is like a gentle white floral type scent. It's very pretty. Um, I guess the reason I haven't warmed it is yet because I just haven't reached for it, but I'll maybe try to get to this yet sometime this week or next week. It's pretty, um, I just, I don't know. These types of scents, just kind of generic light florals don't wow me. Um, so I'll add that to my, to warm yet this month pile. <laughs> And then I got two left here. First one, um, Forever Yours. Warmed just one cube of this actually. Um, this one was like the creamy lemon and jasmine scent. And it's pretty, it's very perfumey. I warmed it in our bedroom. Do I need more? Nope. Um, not sure if I even wrote anything down for this. Forever Yours. I wrote down pretty, but not for me. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know what it is. It's perfumey, it's definitely jasmine heavy. Um, I don't really get a lot of lemon from this, but it is kind of bright and maybe that's where the lemon kind of comes in. It's like a bright perfumey scent. So not a repurchase. And then last, um, and I guess kind of least, I don't know. I don't love, didn't love this one either. I warmed two cubes of coconut vanilla orchid. Um, this one I wrote down, it's more pleasant on warm. The orange is still the strongest note to me though. And it reminds me of a, like a spray or a conditioner or something that I've smelled before. Um, like in the like stock show world, like something you'd use to condition an animal or a shampoo you'd use to wash, um, you know, cattle or pigs or something. So that's what it reminds me of. I don't know, like again, I get so much orange from this and I just don't love it. I want more coconut, I want vanilla, I want like a floral orchid and all I smell is orange. So that's really disappointing to me. Not a repurchase. Um, not sure what I'll do with the last six cubes of this, to be honest. We shall see, but yeah. So overall, I guess my winners, um, Berry of Paradise, uh, Caramel Vanilla Delight, Lemon Coconut Chiffon, Cotton Candy Cookie, um, Love You Very Much, and Enchanted Mist. Even though this is light, still I love the scent appeal of it. Like it's a really pretty scent. So I guess those are probably in my top six. If I had to give any honorable mentions, I would say Summer Rain and probably Blonde Wood and Moonflower. Just cause I think it's a pleasant scent. It's not going to offend anybody in any type of way. So I would say, um, both of these two I think would be really nice, just kind of guest friendly type scents. Um, but yeah, overall impressed with the, this round of Bring My Pie Bar. There's only a few that I just, you know, didn't love at all, but yeah, I don't know. Bring, bring Back My Bar is so fun because it gives us a chance to smell things from the past that you know, aren't available in the catalog or anything anymore. And so to now, now it's June. I think voting for the next round of Bring Back My Bar will be in August. And then we'll probably find out what wins in September. And then those will be back um, January of 2023, maybe December. Typically it's January and June though. So anyway, that'll be around the corner and then we'll find out which 25 cents come back next. So thanks so much for tuning in. Um, just, I guess, one more reminder to check out the website, uh, my website or your consultant's website for the um, Bring Back My Bar bundle promo. It's a super good deal. Um, 12 bars for 50 bucks, just unheard of. Awesome. So that's awesome that Sensi did that for us. Um, so yeah, that expires at the end of the month though. So June 30th, you only have a little over a week left to take advantage of that. But 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.